The beautiful game provides an abundance of satisfying sights. We smash it into the back of the net. Sounds and moments. <laughs> we hope no We've selected three of the most satisfying goals to see hit the back of the net in football history to recreate in all their glory today. Right, so first up, we got Papi Cissé against Chelsea. I can't show them due to copyright, but if you'd like to enrich your day with a viewing of any of these goals, I've left the links in the description. So nice and easy one to start off with. All you have to do is hit it crisply on the half volley, defy the laws of physics, and uh, Bob's your uncle. So who's first? Right, Arthur, whenever you're ready. I, I don't have high hopes for him, lad. I don't like him. Oh, <laughs> God. That's not, not bad, you know. Oh. That's a decent effort. Oh, it's, it's doable. This can't be that hard, can it? <laughs> <laughs> you're taking the papiste with that uh... one, Harry. Oh, <laughs> it's not a half volley at all. There you go. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 Oh, no. oh well! <laughs> one of those bad boys for you. Oh! This is the one. Oh! oh. oh. Now I'll score it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's my back. I want this embarrassment to stop. One of the greatest goals in Premier League history. It'll be fine. We'll do it in 15. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> what are the chances? Because it hits the, the crossbar the and the post. Yeah, bro. Stupid challenge, man. <laughs> Stupid challenge. He thought up the shit. They might need to some free kicks or something. I don't think we're really doing anything too badly wrong. You two can speak for yourself. This round here, I'm feeling it. Surely, just statistically, one of them has to go in. I'm going to have a very good effort in a minute. I don't know if he'll go in, but one of these. I reckon 10 more. 10 more? The most optimistic thing I've heard all day, but okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, mate, you God amongst men. <laughs> that was so... We didn't even need Connor to, like, act like he couldn't have got to it. That was it. There was an unsaved yeah, ball check doesn't save that. You all sound very sarcastic. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 mate, no, that, no. Was, that, that was so good. That was so good. There's a big sense of relief that we don't have to keep trying as well. Next up, we have another one of the Premier League's best ever goals and another drone hired for four to six hours. That can't have been cheap. Oh, here comes the ad. As the beginning of the Premier League season draws nearer, national anxiety hits a high we haven't seen since we watched a penalty shootout together. As fantasy football managers scramble to try to field a side. Ultimate Fan is a new free fantasy football game which incorporates the concept of FIFA pack openings into the experience. You open three player packs and build your team to start off, then compete with it over the season to win some of the £300,000 of cash prizes. In Game Week 1, for example, there is a £50,000 prize pool. Now, as opposed to other fantasy football apps, a new contest runs every single week, so if you miss the first game week, your year isn't over. Now, I opened my packs yesterday, so this is how I was treated. As ever, I have no special agreement with the makers of the game to give me good players, as you can see. Now, you can also buy gold and silver packs to boost your chances of getting better players, but these are optional, and the max you can spend is a five or a month. So I subscribe to the gold packs. Again, not covered by the makers of the game. And that gives me one pack drop every week. A gold pack gives you two guaranteed gold players and one silver, and then the silver pack guarantees three silver players. So here you go, for week one, if you come first, you get 5,000 pounds, second, 2,500. Up to 200th place, you still get a tenner. Nemanja Matic will not be keeping his position at the starting line. Enough. Lastly, there's an ultimate fan clash mode where you can go head to head against other people and then the winner gets like rare cards for their team. I would suggest getting yourself sorted for this first game week because you'll never have a better chance of winning. Please feel free to download this app if you are interested in fantasy football, if it's up your street. See if you can beat me in the upcoming match days and across the season, but just no, historically, it's not a very impressive feat. You may have heard other YouTubers talking about how I uh, paid for their dinners after Premier League and Euros fantasy football. Which I lost consecutively. I mean, I can't lose out of everyone who's probably going to come on the app. So at least, you know, at least there's that. It's the only reason I'm doing this one, so it's not for legal reasons. Now, next up, we have Dimitri Payet's free kick against Crystal Palace. This one was so special because, like, the way he hits it, it looks like it's literally going to Rose Ed. Like, you can see the keeper's look on his face. You can see the moment in his eyes when he realises that he's made a mistake because it just dips into the top 
corner. So the way he hits this is he hits it almost like a De Bruyne free kick, like under, instead of curling it. I'll show you the difference between the techniques. So this is like just a normal curl one. It doesn't give you the dip, and then you've got to hit it under to get it looking like it's literally going out of the stadium and then down. So <laughs> it's simple, you know? You should be able to do that today. We've got three hours. Can extend to six if we want. Now the particularly crippling thing with this one is that not only you have to hit it with this special technique, but you also have to get it to clip off the bar. So girls like this mean nothing, which is just great. What do you do? Clip off the bar. <laughs> Good. There it is. An hour and a half in, who knew? Dimitri Payet is a professional footballer. By the way, if you like the look of the joggers, our lovely goalkeeper Connor today is modeling. They are available at number10.store. Genuinely the comfiest joggers you will ever wear. I can, honestly, I can, can I, can I get sued? Probably not, but they are, they are. It's unanimous, they are the comfiest joggers you can buy. No cheaper in the world stops that. No way it's going and I still get wrong footed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. oh wanker. Here comes Clay. We'll take it, we'll take that one. Looking back, it didn't quite have the same dip as a few of my other attempts and pie it shot, but I'd say looking at these two is quite satisfying. And it just means we have to get the last goal of the video even better. Right, Pavard versus Argentina. That's the uh, third goal of this video. Easy. I think this one should be a, a piece Harry. of Harry's hey. speciality. Has been said. Simon said 10 times easier. I mean, you got the last one, so I didn't. <laughs> I'll go first on this one. I'll go first. Right. We've got a ball launch, so that is doing the cross from... Uh, a, who, who, who crossed it in? He's a left back for... Dinya. D yes, yes. Damn, World bro. class. That was, that was good. Damn. Good knowledge. Um, no, it wasn't. Go on then, first right. time. Have we lined this up before? You know where it's going. Oh! oh that, that was a banging, that was perfect delivery. I'm telling you, Harry's got this one. Oh, maybe not. Do we have to? Come on, Arthur. But Arthur's got techers, you know. Oh, here he goes. Here he is. Oh, oh, that's oh. That's a oh. Yeah, he's just trying to get rid of the comments on this video already now. <laughs> Safe finishes that go on target. <laughs> Please include that. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Here we go. That's the one. I don't think it curled enough, lad. I don't think it curled enough. I just think the delivery was a little slow, but other than that. Let's watch it back. Will he take it, though? It was a good try, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. We had a little look back at the footage. That goal was apparently not known. It wasn't good. I wouldn't say stinker. I would say stinker. maybe like a 7 out of 10 recreation. If anything, too powerful. So I need to take a bit of power off it. Bit of backspin on it. I'm sorry, Benjamin, but I improved your goal. Is that what you wanted? What a sad little life. Someone's going to score a screamer here, lads. Oh! oh. Finish the match as well. Right, how has this man managed to hit the sweetest knuckleball I've ever seen on a volley? What is this? Oh, that's a one. Oh. I think this is yours. Thanks. Yeah, well, he's already scored one. It just wasn't quite like good. How many subscribers? The TV. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh mate! 
<laughs> See, I'm not oh, surprised, but you slid like no tomorrow. <laughs> I was looking at the oh, children. Oh, oh no, nah, I really pulled my, pulled my leg there. That's two down. Ah, and there's one. three. <laughs> My bird. Oh. It's that, but we just need to hit it top ends. Yeah. Oh, how about that? Glorious! No, mate, mate, what did you think was going to happen, bro? You bought my log for a reason. That camera's off. No! Simon, heads up. That camera's off. I'm not joking. Yeah! yeah. 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 Simon Minter, for me, is he as good as Theo and Chris? I'm not sure. This is where he's going to sit. He's going to sit at the front of very good. I think that seems fair. That's all I needed for him to do that. And it, it became personal with me.